What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. I want to clear something up because honestly I'm really getting sick and tired of black people getting this mixed up. It's like they don't know. Okay, the word woke. The word woke has been co-opted, okay? The word woke simply means waking up to having an understanding of your surroundings. Waking up or being woke and understanding your situation, understanding who you are, where you from. Being woke simply means waking up to the truth. That's what woke is. It's connected and synonymous with being conscious. Being conscious, you when you're asleep, you're dealing with your subconscious. When you wake up, your consciousness takes over. Being conscious and aware of your surroundings. Being conscious and aware of who you are, who your people are, information, knowing knowledge. So being woke, and being conscious of real information, facts, your surroundings, that's what woke and consciousness mean, okay? So, Republicans, when they say, or conservatives, when they say anti-woke, what they're saying is, that's a, that's a dog whistle to their people. When they say anti-woke, it means anti-black. It means anti-people of color. It means anti-all of that. You see, they can't just go out and say, we anti-POC. They can't go out and say we anti-black power. They can't go out and say, they can't say this shit. So they need another word so they can say it out loud while saying what they want to say by having a plausible deniability of what they really mean. That's why they have the anti-woke. They keep saying the anti with your DeSantis, who's on a mission of white power, right? But since you wrap it up in different words so you can be politically correct you got some black people that's with it they're like yeah it's at work i'm like so you're on this white male side whose mission and goal is to uplift uphold and maintain white power you as a black person you want to push that agenda so if you're a black person you're against anti-wokeness you're against your people your people being aware of who they are what they're about in their situation that's what that means now the liberal left what they do is, since they understand that the power of the black, black, the power of black resistance is so strong, they attached or they co-opt the word woke so they can use it for their LGBT community stuff, right? So now they start using our shit like they always use anything that we make popular, anything that we have that's a vehicle for influence. The, the LGP liberal groups, they started to take that word woke and start using it for their shit. So every time we use the word woke, okay, they take it, right, and say, yeah, it's woke. It's black people, right? And then it becomes black people. Then it becomes people of color. Then it comes black people, people of color, and LGBTQ. They attached LGBT communities to attach themselves to the black struggle like a barnacle attached to a whale. If you detach that barnacle from the whale, that barnacle will fall to the ground and it will have to deal with its own issues under its own power. But they can't do that. The feminist movement, they attach themselves to the black woke person. Why? Because they, the feminine movement, the white western feminist movement, they have no power by their own. They can't, they can't persuade anybody to do anything. So they attach to black people, they attach to the black struggle, they attach to the legitimate issues of black culture, and they coattail that, and they use that to go against the conservatives. So the conservatives and the liberals both use black people, both use the word woke as a weapon to fight against each other while distorting and messing up our message and what woke means to us. Remember when the, when the, when the rainbow meant something else? Remember when it was okay to wear a rainbow shirt? Remember that? Remember when, it was, when you saw a rainbow in the sky, it was beautiful and you would show it? You don't even wanna go next to a rainbow. Remember when the, do y'all know that the swastika used to not be a symbol of hate? It used to be a symbol of eternal peace and, and wisdom. But guess what? You can't use that for that no more because people co-op other people's signals, signs, and terms to, to use the power that it once had to coerce it into being something else. And that's what this woke thing. So anytime you hear anybody, especially white folks, say the word woke, they're saying it's anti-black, anti-black power, anti-unity. It's pro white superiority power based shit that's what it is that's the code all right that's the code we know what woke mean we know what consciousness mean we know what that mean but understand that these people use the word that we created for power 
and they use it for their own agendas. That's all I got to say. This Afro think tank learns something, teach something about.